Hey folks, so in today's video we're going to talk about connecting a networkable Helix unit to your Hummingbird network or maybe a Helix to a Helix, maybe a Helix to uh, a Mega Live. And probably the most common question people have or struggle with is how do you get your Helix connected to the network to begin with? So I wrote this down because this is the part number, most asked about part number probably each year. A-S-E-C-Q-D-E. -E. What is this? What is A-S-E-C-Q-D-E? -E? Don't forget that. That's this little component right here, right? This little cable, okay? It even says it on the label. It's upside down, let me see. But nonetheless, right? So it's on there, A-S-E-C-Q-D-E. -E. And what it does is it has a mail connector, because they're pins, that's why it's called a mail connector, on both ends, but one of them has this little five-star shape, and then the other one is just, I don't know, a whole bunch of pins, eight pins in a circle. Typical network connector. And what you want to do is first determine, is your Helix a networkable Helix? Well, one easy way to find out is look right there on the label. It says Helix 9, MSI Plus, that's Mega Side Image and Plus, GPS, they all have GPS, and then G4 means Generation 4, N means Network. And then also you can just look you don't want to look in the manual right here's your sonar port this port right here is your network port which going back to that ASEC QDE see how that that male shape right there boom goes into that female socket right there bam and so now with this little dongle cable they call it we have the capability of connecting this to um, an ethernet cable, right? So here's an ethernet cable. They have the female sockets. And you'll notice right here, there's a little notch. Sometimes it's hard to find. Flick it with your finger, you'll find it. Okay, so here, here again, we've got the male connector. And then we will screw these together. And now we've got one cable. They won't make more pins and sockets, but there you go. So now you have the network cable. And if I want to hook it up, I can take another one of these ASEC QDEs, right? Do the exact same thing. Connect the male and female connector together, screw them together, they become one, boom. And then I can hook this up to another Helix. So now that's its own network right there. So if I power up between this Helix and this Helix, I could share waypoints, I could share sonar, things like that. Another option is I could disconnect this and let's say I had a Mega Live. I want to set up a dedicated Helix on the bow just for Mega Live. There's another option. So again, we got the dongle cable, we got the Ethernet cable, and then we'll go over here. Here's our Mega Live. Go to the end right there, boom, and then connect them. So Humberbird doesn't try to trick or confuse you. It's literally just male and female connectors. That's the technical term in the electronics world. And they screw together. Bam. So now we have a network between the Mega Live and the Helix. Alternatively, if I wanted to, I could disconnect this and go to the back of, let's say, a Solix unit, right? Because it has the male pins. I can take this female pin, plug it up in the back of a Solix, or I can connect it to a network hub, right? If you haven't seen my video about connecting two network hubs, I'll share that in the description. So now with that little special notch right there, turn it, turn it towards the power connector. It'll fit right in there. Boom. And then screw it together. So hopefully you guys are liking these videos. Please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. So in a nutshell, that's it. So what's the most compo most important component to get? It's this ASEC. QDE, right, again, that will convert your Helix to the round port network connections. And again, you need that network port. If you don't have it, then you probably have a Helix that doesn't connect to the network. All right, hopefully you appreciate that. Thank you.